Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this week's White Rabbit Cryptic Clue Decoded video. Uh, this, of course, for the clue that was on WWE Raw. There is so much to go through. Um, this is so detailed, so complicated, so deep. Uh, we've got loads. I've got so many images and so much to talk to you about. It's going to be a little bit complicated. Uh, and it was really complicated for me to gather this information, put it all in this video, and try and explain the journey that we went on as we were finding this information out. So uh, a massive shout out to everyone that sent things through. You know that I really appreciate it. And I was getting sent a lot of the same information. So I know many people uh, sent this through. So a big thank you to everyone. Let's, uh, let's get into it anyway, because there's loads to talk about. So this uh, obviously is the QR code. I'm never very good at getting a good screenshot of the QR code as it appears. Uh, this was the best I could get. But uh, basically it appears during the Asuka Alexa, very interesting, Bianca and Candice LeRae backstage segment. And so it appears on screen. When you scanned it, it took you to this image now. There was three parts to this. This was the top part. It was an image and what was interesting about this image is that if you watched it and viewed it on mobile devices, uh, the right-hand side would reveal a code. If you did it on desktop, the left-hand side revealed a code. Uh, and we'll talk about that code later. So this was the top part. It's actually Samson and Delilah. And uh, that is very interesting. It's a little bit the theme, if you will, of this clue seems to be Samson and Delilah. And that is all about betrayal. Uh, and actually, it connects to a Bray Wyatt tweet that we will look at later on in this video. So that was the top part. When you scrolled down, you got this. You got a middle section that had lots of red boxes. That would turn out to be predator language. Uh, and we will obviously see what that is when it's decoded later in the video. And uh, this magic eye, which again, uh, we can we will decode. Uh, shout out to Baza, who found out that that magic eye reveals the code MTA4MJI. So that's what was hidden there. And again, we'll have a look as to what that leads to and what that means in a second. Um, just going back to the top. So this is an example of uh, the code that was hidden. So that's one part of the code. The other part is underneath the right-hand side. And again, you needed to look at this on a mobile device to reveal that right-hand side. Now, what's really cool about this is that code, when it is complete, is a URL. You can put it into your web browser. It will take you to another image. And we will look at that image in a second. But these are also coordinates the 399012N on its own, that is one half of a coordinate. The other bit that's hidden under the right-hand side, that's another coordinate. When you put them both in and search the coordinates, it gives you this. It leads you to the Wells Fargo Center. That is where Extreme Rules is taking place. So already we are getting a pointer towards Extreme Rules. So that was really cool. I love how this doubles up. So if you put the whole thing into a web browser, it takes you to an image. If you just take those two like strips of numbers and put them into coordinates, you get this as well. So very, very clever. So uh, this is the other image that it takes you to when you put the whole thing into a web browser. This is another Samson and Delilah picture. You can see the number at the bottom, 690120925802. Once you actually put that into a Google search, uh, it leads you to our next picture, which is this. And this is White Rabbit Milk. Now, I really, really like this. I really like this because, um, he, you know, feed your head. Like, feed your head has been a big theme, and uh, white rabbit milk kind of connects to that. The other thing as well is that Bray tweeted out not long ago, be patient, baby birds, I'll feed you soon, baby birds. 
And uh, milk just makes me think of uh, that because if you think like milk is what babies get and that's like what calves get. And so there's something very maternal uh, about milk. And so, yeah, it just kind of connects to that for me. So I thought that was very, very clever. Uh, it's worth mentioning that I think the URL of that second image, I think the URL of that second image, that when you actually decoded it, that uh, was decoded as Gacy. So you can see uh, that we then went to Joe Gacy's Twitter account. So we had a look at Joe Gacy's Twitter account. And what's interesting is, first of all, his profile picture has got the eyes crossed out of it. Uh, just like the pictures in the fun house. Don't know how long that had been that way. Certainly no one's mentioned it or noticed it before. No one sent me that before. So uh, I don't know if he changed that whilst Raw was on air, but that was very interesting. And then his most recent tweet, which only got tweeted out a few hours before Raw, said, since we're in the last eight episodes of The Walking Dead, I would like everyone to know that I knocked and they didn't let me in. How interesting is that? His most recent tweet has got the line, let me in, in it, which uh, I just think is absolutely fascinating. So uh, yeah, Gacy. Gacy could uh, mean a couple of different things. Obviously, there was John Wayne Gacy, who was like uh, a murderer, a known serial killer. But of course, you've got Joe Gacy uh, down in NXT at the moment. And then, as we said, you go to uh, his recent Twitter activity, He's got a profile picture with the eyes scratched out, just like the Funhouse. And then he's got this post, which I thought was very, very interesting. Uh, there is the binary code being decoded. Uh, a shout out to Bale3x uh, for uh, working out that Gacy uh, from the URL. So uh, I thought that was uh, very, very interesting. Uh, right, let's move on to the magic eye, right? So the magic eye, you might remember, again, the clue had three separate parts. We've kind of uh, looked at the URLs of the pictures. We've found the coordinates. We found the barcode that took us to the white rabbit milk. That was the top part. And the pictures were Samson and Delilah. Now, if we go down to the bottom, as we said earlier, Baza found out that it was MTA4MJI in that magic eye. Again, if you uh, put it into a decoder, you actually then get 10822. That is the date of Extreme Rules, which is amazing. It's amazing. So uh, it looks like the magic eye basically leads you to the date of Extreme Rules. So it, everything is pointing to Extreme Rules. We've got coordinates for Extreme Rules. We've got the date for Extreme Rules. Everything is pointing to extreme rules. Uh, Ryan Satin also continued uh, and spoke about the painting, saying that Samson painting was chosen by God. Samson was blessed with superhuman strength that made him invincible as long as the hair on his head remained unshorn. When he told this secret to his Philistine wife, Delilah, he was captured and blinded and his hair was cut. Uh, this is really interesting, really interesting because it does connect to a Bray Wyatt tweet. You can see the tweet on screen right now. This was sent out once um, Alexa had betrayed Bray. So when Alexa had betrayed Bray, I don't know if it was the next day or whatever, but uh, you can see April uh, back in 2021, he sent out this uh, tweet of Samson and Delilah. And uh, you can see that it's all about betrayal, just like he was betrayed by Alexa at WrestleMania. So even the Samson and Delilah picture connects to an old Bray tweet, and that connects to uh, his relationship with Alexa. Uh, shout out to uh, Jake Campbell for sending that through. So uh, that was uh, uh, that part. So that was uh, decoded. Uh, we also uh, just started to get people saying, did you notice a noise? Um, now, I, I must admit, I, I don't have the noise queued up to play. I can't hear anything in the noise. Uh, it was very, very quiet. I do need to go back and listen to that. But there's a lot of people telling me it does sound like a noise from the Firefly Funhouse. So when the QR code drops, there is a noise. There's also some static. 
And there's also some interference. Uh, so uh, we need to have a look at that next uh, because uh, if you screenshot at a certain point, you can actually see what looks to be the fiend behind Alexa. So again, this is when the QR code drops at the very start. You get what they think is a noise that's connected to the funhouse. You get a bit of static and everyone seems to be quite fixated on this image behind Alexa, which uh, absolutely could be something, might be nothing, might just be a pattern in the static, but uh, definitely worth noting. Uh, right, the middle part, we still need to translate the middle part of uh, that initial message. So again, the top part, the Samson and Delilah picture, bottom part was the magic eye, the middle part, that was predator language. So shout out to uh, Ronnie. So um, predator language, it translates as before me, things created were none, save things eternal and eternal I endure, all hope abandon ye who enter here. This obviously is taken from Dante's Inferno. And we've been speaking about that and the connections to that in previous clues. So once again, connecting to Dante's Inferno, which is very, very interesting. Shout out to uh, Urban Goth, who pointed out that Predator could also connect to Orton, who is the, um, you know, the apex predator. And so uh, like the Predator language might connect to Orton as well. But the biggest connection is to Dante's Inferno. Uh, and you might remember that uh, Abandon All Hope Ye Who Enter Here, that was on the door to the Firefly Funhouse. It was also used uh, during the Swamp Match as well, and it did appear in a previous clue. Um, this shout out to WWE Jake, who put Gacy and Alice in Wonderland into Google. This image came back, which is really cool, really sinister. So I thought that was very, very clever, uh, having a look at that and putting that into Google. Then we started to get some other things happening as well. So that was pretty much the clue decoded. We've decoded the top part. We've decoded the middle part. We've decoded the magic eye. We've decoded the URLs. So uh, lots of interesting stuff there. Uh, it's worth mentioning that also there was something else hidden in the source code. Uh, efficient 4696. Haven't quite been able to crack that. I have been told that that might just be something that needs to be there. That might not be a clue, but definitely still something for people to look into. Efficient 4696 was hidden. It was highlighted in green and it was hidden in the source code. But uh, yes, that, so that was pretty much the clue decoded. And then we got a few other things happening during the show. So here you can see when this image went up at the strap match, look at the static behind Carrie and Cross. That's very, very interesting. That static is not behind anyone else, but it's behind Carrie and Cross. So thought that was worth including. Then uh, we got this during the show as well. So during the show, like during Alexa's main event match, it was Alexa against EO Sky. The, the screen just went purple, just went pink. And uh, I thought that was very interesting as well. We were waiting for the lights to go out or something like that. I did wonder if this was just a transmission problem, but everyone got it. It wasn't just BT Sport. I think this was intentional, and that happened uh, during the main event. Uh, also, got this sent this by uh, Julia. You can see a fan right in the center during the contract sign, and this was just before the main event. Uh, fan putting on a fiend mask, um, and uh, it was kind of interesting that this fan uh, had not been wearing it, and then... When Corey Graves holds up the QR code, it's around that same time the fan decides to put the mask back on. Now, that could that seriously could be nothing more than a fan. Could be nothing more than a fan, but there was plenty that was playing out in the crowd tonight as well. Lots to look out for in the crowd, like this sign right here. Again, might be a fan, might not be WWE connected. Um, but that sign says white rabbit. When you scramble the letters, it actually reads Bray Wyatt. Uh, that's actually one that we pointed out before. We've been sent that on Twitter before, and that's been included one in, in one of our previous videos. 
So uh, that we have touched on that. So that could be a fan. That could be a fan, uh, but it could also uh, be uh, WWE planting it there. Uh, and as well as that, as well as the guy that had the Fiend mask on, there was quite a few Lily dolls in the crowd. There was also another white rabbit sign in the crowd, black sign with the rabbit on. Again, it's it's hard to know if these are fans bringing these signs or is this WWE planting people there. So, yeah, that's that's everything. That's the clue decoded. That's where we found everything. That's what was happening in the crowd. So I just wanted to get all of that into one video for you. A very detailed video, a 15-minute video. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, there's going to be more things found, and we will try and drop that into a video potentially tomorrow. We'll see what kind of emerges, but that's everything major. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Really appreciate the support as always, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.